Right now, where there is a lot of controversy over whether the city should recognize International Transgender Visibility Day. Yeah, somebody asked the mayor to make a proclamation, which he didn't do, or Lisa Balick has a story in Canby. It sparked plenty of stinging comments online and at the council meeting here last night. Some even questioned how one of the councilwomen was dressed. There have been hurtful things said, typed, written these last two weeks. Canby's mayor says he's appalled at what's unfolded in his community as citizens' comments are shining a light on intolerance. Trans Day of Visibility isn't meant to put transgender people up on a pedestal or claim that they are in any way better than anyone else. It's a day simply meant to recognize our struggles, celebrate our journeys and accomplishments, and acknowledge our existence. If you were to proclaim a special day for transgender people, then in order to be fair to the rest of your citizens, you would need to declare a special day for transsexuals, bisexuals, heterosexuals and virgins, the list goes on. It started when Councilwoman Sarah Spoon forwarded a citizen's request to the mayor to have the council recognize International Transgender Visibility Day. The mayor decided not to bring it up for discussion, but word got out he chose to shelve it. Some citizens publicly supported the mayor. Others said he was choosing not to recognize hate in his community. My kid still deals with bullying. Classmates argue about what gender they are. They were given noise-canceling headphones to deal with other kids on the bus taunting them with songs. Some tell them to their face that if they believe they're trans, then they must not exist at all. Councilwoman Spoon got home from the meeting last night and found a rash of comments online about what she had been wearing. I certainly never thought when I bought this dress and was excited to wear it that people would care more about that than the conversation about marginalized communities. She was criticized for wearing a Captain Marvel dress that she says had nothing to do with championing transgender issues. The realtor, high school debate coach, mom of four kids, often wears a line of Disney-themed dresses as a fan. We're told the mayor was homesick today. The mayor says he will meet with the police chief, the school superintendent, and other community leaders to try and address these strong feelings. In Canby, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.